hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be talking about something that i've wanted to mention before but it's a topic where if you mention it people initially think that you're asking for attention on that topic if you know what i mean so if i go around saying oh i've had this done i've had that done people are automatically drawn to it and i didn't want that so but I thought in today's video I could finally address it and hopefully help some other people out there. I went on to Instagram and I asked if anyone had any queries or any questions in the topic and quite a lot of people got back to me. So I'm going to be answering those questions at the end of the video once I've said what I wanted to say about it and the reasons behind it and yeah, just a little bit more in depth about it really. So if you haven't already guessed by the title, coming up five years ago, I went under the knife and I had a breast enlargement. The reasons behind it really was simple. I didn't like how they originally looked. I thought they were too small. And I always liked the, sh <laughs> it's a bit TMI about breasts right now. So we're gonna be talking all about boobs, but don't get me wrong. I liked the shape of my boobs. I liked the shape of them. I just didn't like, there wasn't enough of it, if you know what I mean. So I wanted more, I wanted more. I wanted to feel more like a woman. I felt a little bit like a girl and I wanted to feel more womanly. Um, I've always been quite a curvy person at the bottom half of me, but I didn't have anything on top. So I kind of felt like a triangle and I referred to myself as a triangle a lot. I was in quite a toxic relationship before I met Ryan, my husband. And I was a girl when I met this person. I was 15, I think, and then we fizzled out at 18. So it was kind of like a crucial age point in anyone's life where you're finding yourself, you're coming into terms with things and you're becoming sexually active, you know, your body's changing and just things like that. And it wasn't a good relationship and he did make me feel good. So, and he mentioned a few times about how I looked and that really did have some sort of effect on me. So I did, I didn't do it for him or for that reason. I did it for myself. And I think that is a massive important thing that I wanted to come across on this video as well is to don't do it for anybody else. Don't do it because you think your other half would prefer it. Ryan to this day, to this day says he prefers my old boobs. That doesn't affect me. It doesn't upset me at all. He, he likes them the way they are now, of course, but if he could choose, he'd rather my old boobs, but I like them, I did it for myself, I still absolutely love them, so I wanted just to clarify that a little bit as to why. After I got them done, I initially felt so much more happier, they gave me more confidence, I don't know how implants can make you feel more confident, they just really did make me feel more confident, I feel like I could wear a lot more things, I could wear sexier bras and just things like that. I've always loved the whole just like nice clear lace bras, I love them and I think they're so unbelievably sexy and I just love them. But I could never wear them with tiny little booblets as I called them, I didn't, I, I couldn't wear it, I didn't feel confident in wearing it, whereas now I can and I just feel a lot better for it. So yeah, I just wanted to say that as well, it's made me so much happier as a person and I'm a big believer in if you don't like something, we are in a situation these days where we can change it if we want to and I'm all for that. I really am. I just think happiness is crucial. And if that's going to make you happy, then go for it. So a little bit about the implants themselves. I decided to get them done in the UK. I did go private and I think they cost about just under £5,000, if not 5000 I was very lucky. My mum kindly paid for them for me. Obviously, she saw me grow up and she saw how unhappy I was. My sisters have got bigger boobs than me. My mum, my grandma, everyone has got had had bigger boobs than me, and I just got. I think I was just unlucky, really. I think we're the women in my family are big boobed women, and I just didn't have them. And my mum, I think, kind of felt sorry for me, so she kindly paid for me to have them done, and. I have never looked back. I love them so much. I still love them. I look at them sometimes and I think I'm so lucky to have them. They haven't given me any problems, no jip at all. And I just think if you're gonna get them done, do your research. Don't just go to anybody who's giving you the cheapest quote. It's your body. You are gonna be potentially dealing with 
really bad side effects or really bad symptoms after if you don't get them done in a professional way or in the right way i wanted to say as well quickly this angle keeps changing my camera is on my ring light and i haven't got the correct fixing to keep my camera in the right angle so i'm having to use a bit of sellotape to keep it upright so i apologize if i'm keeps if i keep on just like going like this and then i'm talking to you over here so i do apologize but bear with me the surgeon i chose to go for he had over 30 years experience in breast enlargements at the time so obviously he's got like 35 years uh, experience now and he was just the tits basically <laughs> <laughs> that pun was not intended at all but he is he is just amazing he really is amazing so going back what i what i did for work when i was getting these done i was flying for ryanair's cabin crew at the time with ryanair you are i would like to say not forced but you are kindly pushed to take unpaid leave up to a month of unpaid leave long story short i took two weeks of unpaid leave i didn't want to take a month i said flat out no i'm not taking a month off i wanted to take up to two weeks that's what i did and in that period my mum said let's go and look at getting them done in that time frame so we didn't really know that you sorry we didn't know that you had to wait months after your consultation we didn't know that so we went to go and see the surgeon at our chosen hospital and i just loved him the moment i met him really and i told him what i wanted i wanted them to be as natural as possible i don't want them under my chin i don't like that porn star look i want them just to look very natural and he knew exactly what i wanted he suggested what sort of implants i should have and he was just very helpful very 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 professional and very knowledgeable and just amazing and he took pictures of my boobs before and he did something on the computer to make he put the implant in in the computer to show me what my boobs look like after which is really cool and i was just happy with what i saw and i said that's what i want to go for and then he said, go and speak to my receptionist and we'll book you in. It's a couple of months wait. And we went, uh, because getting time off again with aviation is hard. It's so difficult. It has to be approved and it's not always approved. And it's just, it's difficult. It's really difficult. So we spoke to them on the side and we said, look, I've got two weeks off coming up. I'd really like to have it done in that time frame, And it will just make my life easier pretty please with the cherry on top and there's a lot of to and fro in but they managed to squeeze me in and i was so grateful and so lucky so i went for the consultation and then i think it was a week later i had the surgery so i had no time to sort of mentally prepare myself for it but i had this, i had the surgery i think i was in for about 45 minutes maybe an hour maybe not even that long but it was my first ever anesthetic <laughs> and yeah i didn't i didn't handle it very well coming out of it i was an absolute mess my teeth were chattering and i was freezing cold i had to ram a heat up in my blanket to warm me up but i soon got over that i was fine but i'm gonna insert a picture now of what i woke up to and i'm not gonna lie guys the pain was painful it was really painful the the implants that i had i went in front of the muscle and my surgeon said to me, in front of the muscle is a lot more natural because it moves along with your skin. However, if you put your implant behind your muscle, it's not going to move because it's behind a muscle and your muscles don't move. Um, so if it's behind your, if it's if it's in front of the muscle and it's just behind your skin, it's going to move more. So that made a lot of sense to me. So that's what I went for. And the pain was a joke i woke up and i felt like i had a lorry on my chest you just felt like <clears throat> that you couldn't breathe and just a lot of pain and i didn't tell you where i had my incision so my i have my incisions just underneath here i say they are now about that long each and they're now like a pinkish almost they're more like a beigey pinky color now and before um before they were very 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 red and very purple but the scars are so neat and just 
I don't even see them anymore. I really don't. I did have drains on either side that helped drain all the fluids after the surgery and that was so painful taking them out because there's it had literally like a tube inside I just had to pull it out the pain that was so painful I think that was the worst bit when they pulled the drains out for me that was it just made me feel all, all weird and I just didn't like it at all the stitches were dissolvable and yeah I'm just super happy with them and they are so unbelievably natural like I've said a thousand times I love them and I'm all for people doing what they love and what makes them happy so that is the brief outline of the implants and stuff but a lot more detail is going to go into it now once i've answered the question so i'm going to get on with that now okay so the first question is can you breastfeed with breast enlargements so what i was told by my surgeon because that's what i asked as well when i went for my consultation you can you can breastfeed only if your nipples aren't removed in the process you can get your implants inserted by taking off your nipples and if you take your nipples off then that stops you breastfeeding because it's cut all your milk ducts and stuff and all your glands so you can't breastfeed through that way but if you get your implant inserted through your armpit or underneath here then that's fine from what i was told that's fine can they be affected by pregnancy so I had mine done a good two years then I got pregnant I didn't notice any difference in my implants if I'm being honest obviously you just put weight on everywhere so my boobs just got hugely big they just got insanely big so yeah that's all I can say about that really they didn't they didn't affect me however I didn't breastfeed with them so I can't really rec so I can't really give you much advice on breastfeeding with them um but i managed to get milk out of mine and yeah it, they it was like they weren't even there so the next question is how much pain were you in after the surgery and how long for so like i said the pain was really painful i'm not gonna lie it was so bad you don't realize how much you use your upper upper body strength i couldn't even open a bottle of water um with the lids i couldn't do that i couldn't even like push myself up to get from somewhere i couldn't do that the pain was so bad it feels like you have ripped a muscle and you just physically can't move i would recommend to get yourself a pregnancy v pillow to help you sit upright in a chair or something laying on them it's hard they are insanely bruised and very 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 scary to look at in the beginning i managed to start improving after a good two weeks so give yourself a good two to three weeks and you should start to feel like more yourself again but you can always call your nurse or your doctor that they are at the other end of the phone so they can always be there to help you really next question is what size were you before and what size are you now so i think before i was a good b i think maybe even an a i was very small very tiny and just not happy with them i think it depends where you go and get your bras but i think i was a good b um but yeah so after i had them done i was a good double d after i had them done that's what i wanted i wanted to go up a good one and a half to two sizes and i didn't want to be like hello i have like huge boobs now everyone look at them i didn't want that i just wanted more boobness and that's what i went for and yeah so i think i went up a good two sizes however now i'm a d now which is weird i think i don't know i think i might i think when you first get them done they are still very swollen i think they're swollen for a for a while and then they eventually droop into the in, into the pockets if that makes any sense um so after a while they are very they are quite high and very full and very round looking and then as the time goes on they just get lower and lower and lower and they become more natural and i think they become less full looking so that's what happened to mine so i'm a d now but when i first got them done i was a good double d for a good year and a bit but after i had edward and i think my skin maybe became looser a little bit after i mean they do anyway when you have kids your boobs just get and then they shrink and then your boobs get a little bit more loose over the skin um but yeah i think i'm i'm a good d now so i'm still happy with the size okay so the next question is did you have them before or after having edward so yeah like i said before i had them after i had edward 
and I think once I'm done having kids I might think about having something done to them maybe uplifting a little bit yeah something to think about in the future I think the next question is where did you get yours done? I got mine done in a hospital called The Rivers in Sawbridgeworth. I will leave their information in the description box below if you're interested. The surgeon that I had who done mine is called Dr. Ovarez. I'm not sure if he's still there, but yeah, I will leave everything you need to know down below. Okay, so the next question is, can you provide the pros and cons? Okay, maybe one con is you want to go bigger. You get can't you do get boob greed and you do just want to keep getting more and more and more and more. Not 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 any um not procedures elsewhere, but just to the area that you've got. I wanted to go up another size and another size, but then I'm thinking it's going to defeat the whole reason why I got them done in the first place. So I have slapped my hand several times and told myself off, set through and thinking it. So that's the only con, but the pros are just, the list goes on really. It makes you feel so much more confident. It makes you feel happy. It's, you can, you can feel like you can wear anything. Like I've said, happiness is the most important thing and if it's going to make you happy then you really should just go for it and i'm all for that next question is do you have any regrets nope not a single one next question any sensitivity issues yes when i got them done i was told that i will have some sort of sensitivity issues um but it's all it's just a risk you take isn't it so i'll tell you where my sensitivity is um but it never bothers me it doesn't bother me in the slightest i don't even notice it to be honest with you i really don't a lot of people lose sensitivity in their nipples um but mine just became over over sensitive so i have to be careful with them sometimes <laughs> anyway so the sensitivity for me is just below my nipple. So, okay. So, say um, nipples are here, just underneath here is, so the scars are here. So, from the scar to where the nipple is, so this section here is numb for me. It feels like, you know when you sit on your hand for too long and then you rub it and it just feels really weird? That's how it feels. So it doesn't bother me at all. It did in the beginning, I was feeling it a lot going, that feels so strange, but it never it, it doesn't bother me now and I don't really notice it to be honest. So that's all I've really got to say about my breasts. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any questions about about it, or if you are thinking about getting it done, then don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you because I've been here. I've watched, I remember watching so many people on YouTube when they were going through their procedures and stuff. So I'm here for you. If you have any questions, I would love to help you out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys very soon.